Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do a, another clothing video. This is going to be all about denim. Jeans, denim. I like calling them denim. I don't like calling them jeans. But I guess that's me working in denim for so long. But here I decided to pick out all of my favorite jeans. I'm a very visual person. If you guys haven't already noticed, like... I literally finger spaced my jeans. I decided to bring out all of my favorite jeans, um, the jeans that I feel like are worth the splurge, the jeans that I feel like are worth the save. I talk about denim all the time because I really do love jeans. I love the look of jeans. I love the feel of jeans. Like I understand and appreciate the art of denim. Um, I've talked about it before, but I used to work for Diesel, which is a denim company. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of it. It's a luxury denim company. So all of the jeans for the most part, a lot of them were handmade in Italy. And you know, we had to watch like videos and get a lot of product knowledge about these jeans because these were 300, 400, 500 dollar pairs of jeans. So of course people want to know the detail and why you're paying that much for your jeans. So everything that I know about jeans is from working at Diesel. I worked there for about three years. I have so many jeans from there, but there's like one or two pair that fit me because I was like 20 or 21 and now I'm 28. <sighs> my birthday was two days ago, so now I'm 28, so my body has changed a lot. I've gained weight in certain areas, I've gained weight in all areas, so it's just those jeans don't fit me the way they used to because I was a kid when I got those jeans. So I am going to talk about two different pairs from Diesel, but everything else is going to be kind of scattered. I'm going to talk to you guys about the fit, about the wash, about the stretch, about what I feel like you should invest in, what I feel like you can save a little bit of money on. So. We're just going to go ahead and get into it. If you guys want to see my denim collection and what I feel like you should splurge and save on, then just keep on watching. First, I'm going to talk a little bit about what I like about denim, why I feel like denim is a splurge. I'm sure I'm not the only person that has worn a pair of jeans. You go to pull them up from the belt loops and the belt loops pop up. Then you have these two holes that are right there like on your hip area and your jeans are pretty much ruined. I'm sure I'm also not the only person that has gotten the chafing on your legs and your jeans end up wearing right in that area because, you know, girls, we have thighs, we have legs that rubs together and it chafes and falls apart. I feel like there's, I feel like I need to get into a whole video about like <clears throat> pieces in general that you should splurge on and things that you should not splurge on. But I feel like denim is one thing along with like white button ups, shoes that I just feel like you should splurge on. I feel like when you get that right pair of jeans, that perfect pair of jeans, if you get a perfect pair of jeans and they're 120 bucks and you can wear them every single day, know that they're not going to loosen up on you, know that they hit the right part of your waist, know that the length is perfect, it's worth it. I feel like buying a 10 to 15, 20, 25 dollar pair of jeans, you can feel it, you can tell, you can see with the way that they wear, you can, it's just, I just feel like there's, it's a big difference. I feel like you can save your money when it comes to t-shirts and tank tops and graphic tees and floral tees. Save your money on stuff like that, but I feel like denim is something you should definitely splurge on because I feel like if you get your five pairs, like you just need five pairs, a dark pair, a light pair, a medium pair, a skinny pair, a straight pair, and then like a cropped pair or something like that. Like I feel like those are the categories that you should go in and I feel like once you have those, you don't need to buy jeans for a very, very, very long time. The first pair that I'm going to talk about are actually from Diesel and I'm almost fitting back into these again. I haven't worn these since I was like 22, so it's been like six six years that I haven't worn these but this pair specifically is called the straight Z now these jeans are a straight leg and I've had these for a long time like you can see these jeans don't even look like they were worn and I wore these jeans so much because the rise of them when I tell you guys how good it made my butt look like it makes your butt look like a little peach these jeans have a very good amount of stretch to them but I'm very picky when it comes to denim because I feel like once they have too much stretch they look like a jegging and I am so anti-jegging not saying that je jeggings are bad or ugly I just I cannot stand jeggings I just feel like they look cheap I don't like the quality of them I just don't like them so these have a lot of stretch to them but they still are a very very thick denim I love the wash of these they are just a perfect dark blue with this like light brown stitching which is one of my favorite combinations on a pair of dark jeans i love when it has that stitching on it these are a straight leg so if you can see here they're not like a wide leg at all they're they're perfectly straight i want to get them hemmed because they're very long on me almost all of my jeans hit very long on me i'm not i mean i don't feel like i'm tall but i don't feel like i'm short i'm about five three and a half by four but all of my jeans run very long so I need to start getting all of my jeans hemmed and all of my jeans in petite if I can get them in a petite size so these are the first pair that I have these are a size 
26 waist and a 30 length. I buy most of my jeans based off of the waist because like I said, when I worked at Diesel, that's how, that's, I mean, that's how the jeans are. It's waist and length. It isn't like a six, a four, a 10. Um, it was all based on waist size. So that's usually what I buy my jeans based off of the waist size. These are a regular slim straight from Diesel, size 26, 30. I love these jeans. There's, these are a pair of jeans that I will keep as long as they fit me. And I just feel like you can't go wrong with a perfect pair of dark blue jeans. Now I'm gonna talk about the jeans that I feel like you can save a little bit of money on and get something that's pretty decent. And even still with this category, I feel like you have to be careful because I've had denim from this brand in the past that did not end up working and ended up falling apart on me. But if I get the right pair, they end up working really well. So this pair I got actually while I was in New York this last week, I got these in Zara. And the main reason that I got them was because I wanted to get a pair that I saw in Topshop. Was stuck on this pair. I knew I wanted them. They were a per they were a, a straight leg, but they were cropped right at the ankle, and that's exactly what I had been looking for because all of my jeans fit me very, very long. I wanted a pair of jeans that cut right off at my ankle because I just love the way that that, that style looks. So um, after being in Topshop, I did like six rounds in Topshop. I'm not even exaggerating. I ended up leaving and I went into Zara, and Zara had a pair that looked exactly like the ones that I wanted. Now these are called, it just says Zara Woman Premium Collection. These are a size European 38, which is a size 6 US, which is pretty standard. It's like a 27 waist around there. So this is what the jeans look like. I am a huge fan of medium wash denim. It's just my favorite wash, and I like a little bit of distress depending on my mood. So these have a little bit of distress. If you can see, the front is pretty standard, but the pockets are kind of worn and distressed, which is something that I like. It does have turn them this way a slit right at the pocket with a little bit of like wear right here which I love as well the ends of them are cut straight across and frayed which I absolutely love this is so on trend right now and I feel like it looks so good and then the other pocket just has a couple of little signs of distress nothing too crazy and in the back the pockets are the same as the front a little bit of distress some distress here a little bit of distress on the bottom and that's pretty much it I love the wear of these jeans I wore these in New York I will actually insert a picture right now I actually wore these twice already so I'll insert clips of them just so you guys can see what they look like but I love these jeans so much these I think were 60 60 dollars they were like 59.90 um, I love the way that they look and they're a very thick material which is something that I was trying to pay attention to because I've had jeans from Zara a pair that I actually loved and I don't even know what happened. I went to put them on one day and they had a huge slash in like the butt area. So it was like they broke right there, which pissed me off because I take care of my clothes. Like I'm the type of person I can make a $5 shirt last me 10 years. So I was really annoyed about that. And ever since then, I kind of steered away from Zara's denim, but I found these and I absolutely love them. I'll leave the pair that I was trying to find from Topshop. I'll leave them down below. I'm just going to end up ordering them online because I still want them, but love these so much they fit perfectly right at the ankle they look so good on i just i love these jeans so much and i wish they had like an exact style number or like a style name but they don't i'm sorry if i can find them on the website i will definitely link them down below because you guys will love these now i have my second pair from zara these are just your classic black jeans i feel like it is a necessity to have a pair of black jeans and a pair of white jeans. My white jeans, I tried to put them on. They're from Diesel as well, and they won't even go up my knees. <sighs> I'm not 21 anymore, and I need to let that go. I'm definitely going to get another pair of white jeans, but these are my black jeans, and these have actually lasted me a while. I've had these for about two years. These are also, I'm pretty sure, a size 6. I cut off the tags because I don't know if you guys shop at Zara, but the tags are like this long, and they itch you everywhere. But these are just your standard pair of black skinny jeans. They're mid-rise, so they fit really well in the waist area. They have a nice amount of stretch without being too stretchy. They still feel like a nice thick denim and they are a skinny ankle, like a skinny leg going all the way down. These honestly fit me so well. I really like the way that these fit and I have worn these to death. I'm pretty sure these were like 50 bucks. I know they're not available anymore because I got them like two years ago, but if I do find a pair of black jeans from Zara, I'll link them down below. Now for another affordable pair of jeans, of course I have to mention my store. These are from my clothing boutique called Brenda Lynn and Cora. This is actually our first pair of denim that we've ever done because I am very picky with jeans and I'm not just gonna get crappy, cheapy jeans. Like you could go to Forever 21 for that. So we got these jeans, these were our first pair and I am in love with them. The amount of stretch that they have, the way that they make your body look, they look very nice and smooth. These are a size US 6, which 
Like I said, it's pretty standard for me. They are 99% cotton and 1% elastic. So they fit, when I tell you guys, amazing. They fit so well. They, the way that they lift your butt, they make your butt look so round. And something that I really like about them is that they're cropped up, but they're sewed like that. So they are, this is the detail of them. They're sewed to stay like that. So for me, they fit me right at my ankle. I love the way that they look. My best friend, Joelle, actually came over and tried them on. And she's a little bit taller. I think she's like, she might be like 5'6 or 5'7. I don't even know for sure. But they fit her kind of like a crop jean and she even liked them like that like she was like oh my god i could wear these like a crop jean so i really like these currently i think we only have one pair left which sucks but i know we are going to be restocking more and more denim we actually have a pair of white denim that we ordered that's on its way to us now really quickly before i get into my other jeans i'm going to talk about the other pair of diesel denim that i have these are probably my favorite jeans that i've ever gotten from diesel these are called the high keys yes these are called the high keys and these were my first pair of high waisted jeans so if you can see where the crotch and where the rise is it's pretty long these hit me like right here they hit pretty high and i got these jeans when i was 21 so i've got these i've had these for a long time the amount of stretch that they give and have is just amazing these are a size 27 32 these do fit shorter though these aren't as long as regular denim especially because they're a 32 length they fit a little bit different but these just Again, make your butt look so good. They fit perfectly, I love them. These are a pair of jeans that I'll definitely never get rid of. I love everything about them. They fit great, the color is perfect. Again, a medium wash. These were, I believe, a hundred and either 98 or 78, so they were pretty pricey, but I've had these jeans since I was 21. I've had these jeans for seven years. So they have lasted me forever. Now I have my three pairs of jeans that are newer to my collection that I have recently splurged on. And like I said, I feel like denim should be invested in. I don't feel like you should go cheap on your jeans because you can feel it. You can tell. You can tell when there's a really nice, good quality pair of jeans. So the first pair that I'm going to talk about are from a brand called Reformation. These jeans are newer to my collection. I wanted a pair of lighter wash jeans. I don't have, as you can see, all my jeans are on the medium to dark side. I didn't have anything that was super light for the summertime. So when I saw these, I fell in love with them. These are called, I think these are just called like the skinny, I'm pretty sure. Um, but they're from, like I said, the brand Reformation. They're called the high and skinny. These are a size 28. I kind of wish I would have gotten them a little bit smaller, but I can always get them tailored and taken in. So as you can see, a nice amount of stretch here as well. You can see some distress all over it here and there they have a slit on the knee which I'm really really into right now and then when you turn them over to the back they have some distress on the back as well and I just really like this with white like with white t-shirts tank tops button-ups I think that it just looks really good I've already worn them before and I've taken pictures and posted them on Instagram actually so you guys can take a look on there if you don't already follow me on Instagram but I love these I just wish they were a little bit shorter because the length is freaking what, what length are these? Pretty sure they're a 32 length because that's the standard. Um, I absolutely love these. These retailed for $98. If they're still available, I will link them down below for you guys. But I love this brand. There's one pair of jeans that I want from them so bad, but every time I try to get them, they're sold out. Their stuff sells out instantly, like so fast. So it's something that you definitely have to get your hands on when you see it, but I will link them down below in case you guys are interested. Now I have my Levi's, and you guys know I talked about these jeans so much on Instagram, on YouTube. These are the non-stretch jeans. So these are the jeans that I have from Levi. These are the style 501 skinny. Um, they're mid-rise, they fit really, really well, but these have, like I'm pulling them right now, they don't stretch. These have zero stretch, they have a button-up detail instead of a zipper, which I kind of wish they zipped, but whatever, I'm not gonna be that picky, but they are raw denim, and I, have a love-hate relationship with raw denim because like I said they don't stretch and for most of us Hispanic or curvy women we need stretch to go up our legs to go up our hips to go up our butts and then we need it to kind of fit well on our waist because usually our waist to hip ratio is not the same so that's the only thing that I hate about raw denim but I love the look of strong stiff jeans I just feel like they look different it's just I love them I love them so much I'm looking at them in the mirror and I have worn these jeans already so many times. They have huge just distress um, slashes in the knees. And then right here on the bottoms, they're 
cut pretty standard there's no fray or anything these fit me long as well so i want to get them tailored so that they can fit me like right at my ankle they're a 30 length and they're still too long and that's usually the shortest that they go sometimes you can catch um jeans with a 28 length but it's very very rare so i love these these were i believe either 98 or 128 i can't remember for sure but i got them off of revolve you can also get them on the levi's website but I'll leave them linked down below for these exact pair. I've gotten so many questions about these jeans, so I'll leave them down below so that you guys can find them easier. And now my last pair of jeans are also Levi's. These are the Style 721 High Rise Skinny. I also got these in a size 28. Kind of wish I would have gotten them in a 27 because they have some stretch to them, and since I'm in the process of losing weight, they're going to end up fitting me big, but I'd rather them be big and be able to get taken in. These jeans are the jeans that I feel like look so good with just a shirt, like a t-shirt or a tank top tucked in, a very minimal outfit. They're the perfect wash because they're medium, in my opinion. Um, they're skinny, go skinny all the way down. They just, another pair that make your butt look so good. I love the rise of them. It's a perfect rise, a perfect length. They're honestly the perfect jean. Like if I could pick one jean that I can have that same style of forever, it would be the 721 skinny. I actually got these on sale. I think they were like $60 originally, like 100. So if you guys are ever on the Levi's website, I think I had a coupon actually. I had a coupon for 20% off that they sent me to my email. If you guys can ever find Levi's on sale, I highly recommend it because you are going to be getting really good jeans for a really good price. But I absolutely love these. Love everything about them. I love the back the way that they make your butt look. All right, guys, so that's everything that I have for you guys today. All about my jeans, my favorite denim, all that stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this and found this helpful. Hopefully you guys found some jeans in my collection that you're interested in. And like I said, I'll leave everything linked down below. I'll leave prices and all that stuff linked as well so that you guys can, it can be a little bit easier. Um, let me know if you guys want to see any other like collection or videos like this. I really want to do a how to create a classic wardrobe sort of video so let me know if you guys want to see that and any other video recommendations you have as far as clothes and style and all that leave them down below make sure you guys subscribe before you leave and i'll see you guys in the next one bye